The Flat Man by Rose M. Pei. At night when it is dark, and I am in bed, and I can't get to sleep, I hear noises. I hear tap, tap, tap. I know what it is. It's a tree blowing in the wind. It taps on the glass. That's all. But I like to pretend it's the flat man trying to get in. His long, bony finger taps on the glass. Let me in, he whispers. Tap, tap, tap. I like scaring myself. It's only a game. I hear rattle, rattle, rattle. I know what it is. A train is going by. It makes the whole house shake and the windows rattle as if its teeth are chattering. That's what it is. But I like to pretend it's the flat man squeezing himself as thin as he can through the crack. You can't keep me out, he whispers. Rattle, rattle, rattle. I hear shh, shh, shh. I know what it is. It's my baby brother, making noises in his sleep. It sounds as if the sea's coming in. But I like to pretend it's the flat man, sliding around the room. I'm coming, he whispers. Shh. He keeps his back close against the wall. He clings like a stretched out skin. And I know why. I know the flat man's secret. He's afraid of the light. He hates open spaces. That's why he creeps in corners and drifts in the dark. One flash of bright light and he would shrivel up like a crumpled piece of paper. The slightest breeze could blow him away. So he slips and slides in the shadows until he is near my bed. Then silently he waits for his chance. Now I can't hear a sound. I know what that means. There is no one there. No one at all. But I like to pretend. The flat man is holding his breath. He is waiting without a sound. Listen. When everything is quiet and everything is still, he will dart over and slide onto my bed. I feel a chill down my back. I know what it is. There's a little gap close to the floor where the wind blows in. That's all. But I pretend it's the flat man coming closer and closer breathing his icy breath on me. It makes me shiver. I pull the covers up and hold them tight under my chin. This is to stop the flat man from creeping into bed with me. But then I think to myself, he's so thin, he could slide in the smallest crack. He could creep in right now without me knowing. He could be lying there already by my side, cold and flat. I lie there afraid to move, an icy feeling is spreading all the way up my back. Someone or something seems to be wrapping itself around my chest. I can't breathe. I try to think, but my brain is racing around my head. It won't stop. There must be something I can do. Suddenly I remember. The flat man's secret. He doesn't like to be out in the open. He's afraid he might blow away. I throw back the covers. I flap them up and down like a whirlwind. I'll get rid of you, I say. Flap, flap, flap. The flat man flies up into the air. He is carried, struggling across the room. Next, I jump out of bed, and I shine my flashlight at him. Take that, I say. I switch on the lamp. And that! And turn on the bedroom light. And that! Flash, flash, flash! I can hear the flat man cry out in pain. He starts to shrivel up. He curls at the edges and floats toward the window. I rush to get there first. I throw it open. He drifts out on the wind. He disappears into the black sky. I close the window so tight not even the flat man can get in. Slam! Good riddance, I shout, and I make a terrible face just in case the flat man is looking back. Suddenly, my bedroom door opens. A deep voice says, What on earth do you think you're doing? It's my dad. He looks at me, making a face. For goodness sake, close those curtains, he says, and get into bed. I creep back. I was playing, I say. Playing, says Dad. Scaring myself, I say. Scaring yourself, says Dad. It's only a game, I say. Hmm 
says Dad. Well, I'll scare you in a minute, and that won't be a game. He turns off the light. He shuts the door and goes downstairs. Now it is really quiet and dark again. I lie in bed. I screw up my eyes, and I can see shapes. I can see a big black dragon on the wall. I know what it is. It's the kite my grandpa brought me from China. It hangs from the picture hook. That's all. But I like to pretend it's the flying vampire ready to swoop down on me.